Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited to invite you into my cozy little sketching session. We're diving into all the warm and fuzzy autumn vibes and I thought I'd take you through the full process of creating a cozy autumn themed spread in my sketchbook. So grab a cup of your favorite fall drink, settle in and let's get creative together. If you want to see more cozy videos about art and art tutorials, consider subscribing to my channel. And today I'm gonna sketch all the things autumn and you can feel free to draw along with me or draw your own autumn sketchbook spread. I feel like choosing a theme for your sketchbook spread makes it much easier to fill this spread, at least for me because when it comes to a sketchbook, I never know what to draw there. So hopefully this video will inspire you to open your sketchbook and start creating. And the way I usually start a sketchbook spread is by outlining the main elements on the page. So I just draw some circles and squares to understand where I'm gonna be placing different elements because for me the composition is the most difficult part in a sketchbook because unlike digital art you can't move things around which makes it much more difficult to have a cohesive composition so before diving in I just roughly outline where my elements will be. I know that I'm gonna draw a house, so I just roughly outlined it in the upper left corner. I will have a character and then a few medium sized elements. So I'm just drawing some circles and really, and a few small elements. So in this, on the second page, I will have a big illustration of a fox and then the rest will be some medium sized illustrations. This helps me a lot to plan my composition and then I can just can feel free to start drawing wherever I planned it. So I want to start with the house. I'm going to erase the part that I just outlined and I'm going to start sketching here in the place where I planned it. So it will be a really simple house. I like to sketch with this kind of beige brownish pencil and I usually prefer to sketch only with one color because it eliminates all the pressure of deciding which colors you're gonna use. So for me it works perfectly to just use a simple pencil or pick up your favorite color and use it for your entire sketchbook spread. For me, this is this color. I usually sketch with this pencil instead of a normal gray pencil. And I can also erase it, which makes it really nice. It doesn't make it any worse than the normal gray pencil. I slowly add details to my house. And I think I'm gonna go for the next illustration, which will be a girl with a cute hat. So I'm starting with a face, drawing an ellipse, and then outlining the shape of her body, of a sweater. Then I'm slowly gonna add more details to her face and her sweater. But I always start really roughly. When I press on my pencil lightly, I can easily erase it and then I will start the next layer like in digital illustration and then I will press on my pencil more and to make it a more finished sketch. And 
And so now I'm outlining the shape of her head and I want to have a leaf there. And she will also have braids. So this is my rough sketch and now I erase it a little bit. I, I just want to see the main lines, but, but I don't need to see the whole sketch. And now I'm pressing on my pencil harder and defining my final sketch. I feel like it's harder with characters because Usually when I draw digitally, I use a liquify tool a lot and I move things around, but here I can't do that. So it's really difficult for me to sketch characters with a pencil, but I think it's a great practice. Then I sketch all the other facial features. And I want to add freckles and some cheeks. I'm not going to add colors, so that's why I'm sketching everything, even the cheeks. Then I start adding hair. And the hat. Initially I wanted her to have an acorn hat, like an acorn shaped one, but I, for some reason, it transformed into something different. But actually, I want to digitize the sketch and make a digital illustration out of this girl. It will probably be in my next video. So the way you do it, you can just take a picture of your sketchbook and then open the picture up in Procreate or any other soft digital drawing software that you use. And you can easily color your sketch and create a full illustration out of it. So that's what I'm going to do with this girl later. And now I'm drawing her sweater and we will be done with this illustration. Don't forget to sharpen your pencil once in a while. I do that sometimes, I'm just not showing it on this video. And I add a pattern to her sweater to make it look like a knitted one. Then I make some of the lines stronger and I'm done with this illustration. Now let's move on to some smaller ones and I'm gonna draw a mushroom. So I'm starting with some simple shapes and for the mushroom I don't need to create a lot of layers, so to say. I'm just gonna keep start drawing right away and make the lines more pronounced later. And the mushroom is kinda ready. It was really simple. I'm just gonna draw a few spots inside and that's it for the mushroom. 
And I'm also gonna shade it a little bit. Now let's draw a pumpkin, because there can't be any autumn sketchbook spread without a pumpkin, I believe. So I start with an ellipse, and then I'm gonna draw some ellipses inside this shape to separate these parts of the pumpkin. I think I've drawn so many pumpkins that now it's, be it's become a second nature and it's not difficult at all for me <laughs> to draw pumpkins. But of course, if you struggle with it, feel free to use references. There are so many different shapes of pumpkins that you can even create the whole sketchbook spread just with pumpkins. And we're done with our pumpkin. Now let's draw a cup of tea or coffee. I want it to have a different shape. I'm gonna shade it inside and draw some steam. And I also want to have a leaf drawn on the cup. And here we have some space for a small illustration, which is gonna be an acorn. So I'm gonna draw a tiny little acorn there. And we have more space, so I'm just gonna draw some leaves there. If you don't know how to fill the space, usually leaves or some branches will do. And to fill all the empty spaces and to make to tie everything together, I'm going to draw some small elements like little dots and stars. I feel like they often make the spreads more magical and interesting. And as I said, they tie the composition together. So just draw a few stars. Don't overdo it. Sometimes I overdo it, I think. But yeah, you can just fill it out with different shapes or even leaves. Anything that will make it look more cohesive. And I think that's enough and we're done with our first page. Let's move on to the second page of our spread. And I'm gonna start with a fox here. I really like foxes and, they th and especially I like drawing them in autumn because of their colors, I guess. So I'm just starting with really simple shapes, an ellipse and a rectangle and then where the tail will be. I erase the sketch lightly and then I start defining the shapes of my fox. I start with the head and draw the ears.
and then the rest of the head, the eyes. the rest of the body Then they shade some parts. And the rest didn't get recorded, I'm so sorry. But here I just drew her tail and also added a few pencil strokes to indicate the fur. Then I also made the, some of the lines stronger. And now I want to draw a cute little owl. It also they also represent autumn for me. So I want it to be really rounded and with soft shapes. So I start with the ellipse, I draw the wings and then I will draw the other parts. Then I indicate where the eyes will be. And I add a few pencil strokes to make it more interesting and again to indicate that it's soft and fluffy. And our owl is done. Now I want to draw a pie. It will consist of really simple shapes, just a classic pie illustration. And let's add some steam to make it look even cozier. I want to draw an envelope with a letter and the autumn leaf. So I just draw the shape of an envelope, a letter inside, and there will be a cute little leaf inside.
Next I want to draw a cattle. Again, I've drawn so many that now it's become a second nature. <laughs> You can experiment with different shapes and with different patterns inside. I think I'm gonna go for a moon. And the last illustration on this spread will be an oak leaf. And as with the first spread, I just fill the empty spaces with leaves and stars and little dots. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I hope you enjoyed creating this cozy sketchbook spread with me. And if you did, please like this video and comment down below what's your favorite thing to draw during the autumn season. I would love to know that. Thank you so much for watching, stay cozy, and I'll see you in the next video.